back to the channel everyone. Today I am getting ready for Mexico. I've never filmed a video like this before where I'm like actually showing you or like our planning for what I'm actually bringing to Mexico. But I have Risky over here and uh, she very kindly <laughs> put together like an amazing assortment of like things. We've been shopping basically for the past couple weeks but like mainly this past week we got like a bunch of things. So very fun things. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. Lots of color which you guys no, I haven't been too, not too fond of, but I haven't like experimented too much with color in the past um, little while. So I'm excited that like, I don't know, I'm more inspired to wear color finally. And we have a lot of it. So I'm gonna be trying on all the outfits and then later on in the video, I'll also show like me packing everything and give you guys like my tips for packing and all of that. So I'm so excited. Let me actually just take you guys off this tripod so I can show you all of the magic. It's so pretty, look at all of this color guys oh my god are you obsessed like I also I, I treated myself okay listen it's my birthday month it ends tomorrow or ends on Friday but it's still my birthday month so you know we're treating ourselves we have all of these beautiful beautiful colors that I'm gonna be sorting through today and just kind of like picking out outfits I'm really only going for five days so I obviously don't need all of this but just so much fun things to sort through Ooh, I also got these new Chloe sandals the other day actually literally yesterday and I'm obsessed I cannot wait to rock these in Mexico I'm gonna go ahead and get into the first outfit what's like what are you like most excited for me to try I'm yeah about this green. The green, right? Yes. Me too. I'm actually so excited this is about like this green. The cutest dress ever. I know. And then we found like the perfect bodysuit. Yeah. It was honestly fate. Yes. So I got this in a showroom a while back. And I don't know if you guys can see very well, but it's like one of those dresses that it's a maxi and it has long sleeves, but it has cutouts literally everywhere. And I didn't want to wear like a skin tone version. One, because Listen, the way internet, Muslim internet came for me for wearing a freaking orange bodysuit under a green dress before because they thought it was my skin. I'm not only wearing it for that, but we happened to go to the A-list the other day if you guys saw my vlog and we found this bodysuit from Good American, which when we saw it, I was like, isn't this Skims? It literally looks like Skims <laughs> tea, but um, it's the exact same color and it's high neck it's like sleeveless and the other thing is you know it has full sleeves so I'm not gonna be like super hot it's just perfect so let me try that on first first outfit ah it's so cute I love this one you can see the bodysuit is like the exact same shade it's like nice and breezy and airy I really love this outfit okay just had to adjust the lighting a little bit but these are the two shoe options so I have this like green one that like matches exactly from Vince Camuto but I feel like the Chloe's they just kind of like break it up a little more. This matches the hijab, all of that. I think we're gonna go with that one. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, and then the the bag. Should we do Gucci or should we do the beach bag? So we have two bag options. I feel like right off the bat, this just looks yeah. better because it's like bigger and whatnot. And then this. If you end up wearing the same clothes and exactly go to dinner, go to dinner I can just switch into this one. So this is. Actually, a new style by Yves Saint Laurent, and I absolutely love it. And this is my Gucci from last year. They're both so cute. But yeah, I think for the most part, this is definitely the vibe. Super cute. Green eyeliner. <gasps> oh, yes. That would be very cute. That would be very, very cute. So what I'm going to do for all of these is I'm going to take a photo of each outfit so that when I get to Mexico and when I'm packing, I know exactly what I need for everything. So. Perfect, moving on to outfit number two. If you guys are wondering about the hijabs and the outfits and all of that, we're gonna have them linked in the description box, so yeah. Let's do all of the, yeah, like all of the like fancier outfits first and then we'll do casual after, maybe. Don't mind the, the mess over there, it's an organized mess, I promise. All right, outfit number two. See you in a sec. Here is the second outfit option. So I really like this. I feel like this could be like a golden hour dinner outfit, exploring a little bit and then looking cute while you have dinner. That's what this is giving. Um, I feel like I can have any type of purse with this. 
A bright purse would be really cute. So I have this like Jackmas one. I have this one from Strathbury. The only issue with these two is that as cute as they are, they're completely useless. Like they don't even fit my phone. So I feel like just for vacation, it might be easier to have something like this where it still looks really cute with the outfit, but it holds a lot of things. And then it also has like a strap that I could put around my body. So I think I'm probably gonna go with this one, which I think it still looks really cute with the outfit. I bought this for the second time with these same exact skirt because I love it so much. I'm pretty sure it's sold out by now, but I really love this outfit. And then of course we have the Vela. What is this called? Lime Crush? My favorite hijab of the season. So cute. So this is outfit two. We're gonna take a photo. I'm gonna get a packet. Outfit numero dos. Tres. <laughs> I need to get on my I need to get on my Spanish. Oh, I totally forgot I got this. I know. Oh my god, it's like the perfect shade. I know. Okay, I don't want white because it's just too white. So I was like, No, that's actually so cute. Were you thinking of wearing this under or over? Over it and then you tie it. Oh cute! Okay, love that. Because this doesn't have any shape. I want a different shape. This is like a really big we got this from the A-list the other day. It's like just a big oversized, like one size dress and it's actually perfect for Mexico because so I don't have to wear any pants under it so I won't be sweating. <laughs> Let's give this one a try. Okay, so this is number three and I feel like it looks really, really cute. This is gonna be a baby though and let me tell you why. Because, so the dress is supposed to be a one size which obviously it fits beautifully everywhere else and like I love the fact that it has pockets. However, this part, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's like literally cutting off my circulation. Like it is so tight, the part that like just straps over here. The straps are loose, but just this is like really, really tight. Like it's not made for my size basically. So I don't know. This is a maybe. I think I can still make it work. I can like cut the back of it if I wanted, but it looks super cute. If anything, this is just a little inspo for you guys. Still undecided. I feel like we have so many fits. Like we do. this could be like a yay or nay. But let me know what you guys think. I decided to pair it with these flats from Sam Edelman, which I actually just got from Nordstrom yesterday. They kind of remind me of like the Hermes flats, but they're really, really comfortable and super cute. So yeah, this is a maybe, but this is why you guys need to try on all the fits that you guys are bringing for vacation, especially if you plan to serve, because you might just get to your destination and realize it doesn't fit as well as you thought it would. Okay, outfit number two. I saw you already pick it out. Let's yeah. see. This is really cute. <gasps> I love it. Look at the tones. I love, okay. I'm gonna try this one on and I'll be back. Hey guys, here is the next outfit. I love this. I think this is probably one of our favorites. Yeah. This is so cute. So what actually ended up happening was, so this is actually, it's not a skirt, it's a dress. And we thought it was gonna be the length that it is on me right now, but it actually ended up being more like right under my knees. So what we did was I just took it off the straps and I like pulled it down here and then I have leggings on. So we just tucked in the like, you know, the, the part that would cover the chest and stuff. We just tucked it in and made it like a skirt. And now it's like the perfect little outfit. I'm obsessed. They're all from J. Crew, and like, look how cute this top is. It's super breezy. I just have some skims underneath. I really like this. Definitely get a pack. I feel like this could be a casual fit too. Yeah. These are really comfortable. Mm -hmm. I could even wear this with sneakers if I wanted. Oh, like the Rothy sneakers. Yeah, yeah I, I could easily wear that. Or those flats that I recently got. Yeah. Super cute. This is definitely a yes. Okay, guys. Another huge favorite. We are obsessed with this outfit. I love all like the pastels and just like the tones and everything. And like the bag, I'm obsessed with this skirt too. I uh, shopped at Vince for the first time. Expensive as hell, but so worth it. This piece is like gonna be in my closet forever. Like I'm obsessed. It has pockets, which are great because this bag, like I mentioned, is kind of useless and it doesn't fit my um, my phone. So I could just put all my little things in here and then have my phone in my hand or my pocket, but I am obsessed with this outfit. Definitely a yes. Okay, let's see, next outfit. So so far we have five. Oh no, no, we have four yeses, four. right? Yeah. Okay, we have four yeses. Let's do like one or two more like going out fits. Okay. 
and then the rest will be all casual. I'm trying to pick like 10 outfits total because what I noticed last time in Mexico, I was like changing all the time because it was so hot. Um, but some of those outfits are gonna be in, um, like a burkini, you know, a modest, out a modest swimsuit. So it's not gonna all be like clothing. But next outfit we have this beautiful orange. Oh, I love this. I love all the colors and the tones together. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try this one. Is fit number Six, six, five, six, six. I think we're on six right now. This is more of like a casual, but still really cute outfit. And what's good about this is I could take this to, you know, if we go out at night or something or just something a little fancier, but I can also throw over that like casual top that I just got or like a, another random casual top and it'll be really cute. I love these. These pants are amazing. They're double lined. So even though they're white and linen, you can't see through them, so it's kind of perfect. They're from J. Crew, but I have the Chloe shoes underneath, which is great because I'm short and the pants won't drag on the floor. I like this. The pants weren't J. Crew. Like oh, you're right. One. It was yeah. Ann Taylor. I think it was Ann Taylor. Yeah, Ann Taylor. Yeah, all of those brands seem the same to me. <laughs> Next. Okay, we're on to the casual fits now. So I have this one. I love this set. This is my first time trying it on. I'm definitely taking this. I feel like it'll be a really cute like exploration day outfit. Like when we're exploring the town, we're going to Puerto Vallarta. So it is a little bit more safe to like see the local areas and stuff. I have my little straw hat. I'm gonna wear some cute little shades. This is like the texture of it and everything. I love this. Absolutely love. We have the little Sam Edelman slippers as well, or shoes. I like, I like a lot. Very cute. It's casual fit number two, or three or four, we don't really know. What did you say seven was? Ocho? No, ocho is eight. Oh, I said six. Seis, seis, siete. Siete, oh, siete seven. sounds right. Siete is seven. Okay, siete, we'll go with siete. <laughs> this is the fit, you know, we have to do my comfort color, brown, but still very tropical with this print. I love these pants, they're like super breezy, very important on vacation. Still wearing these guys, I'm actually so glad I got these shoes yesterday, like they're gonna be perfect for like every single, every single look um, in Mexico. And then of course, since it's all brown, I went with the happy looks good on you tote, which I feel like this outfit will be perfect for like exploring, getting souvenirs, getting breakfast in the morning, whatever, and then I can like throw all my shit in here. And then for some sun protection, you know I had to shout myself out, y'all. Happy looks good on you bucket hat. They are still available. Well, hopefully by this video is up. How cute! I love this outfit. Oh my God. I'm obsessed. You know what I could also do for like a fit moment? Mm -hmm. Those green shoes, would that be weird? Or the blue shoes for a pop of color? Oh, um, maybe like the teak one? Might look good. You're like, no. <laughs> You're like, absolutely Let's not. <laughs> we will try it. Let's that. try it. I feel like just if I wanted, you know? Yeah. If I wanted to look cute. We can try. Actually, no, no, no. You're right. It doesn't go with the vibe. It doesn't go with the vibe. See, this might don't do that. <laughs> cute. Yes. Next fit. Ooh, okay, cute. This one I feel like is gonna be a maybe. I haven't tried it on yet, but it's like a veiled collection dress. And I don't know if it's gonna be my style. But we're gonna try it and then we have, oh, this one's probably gonna be my favorite, to be honest. Well, maybe not my favorite. We have some good fits. Okay, we'll show you after. This is clearly not a casual fit, but I'm taking some extra outfits just to like serve, you know? I wanna look cute. And I feel like this is gonna give me that. Big hat with this like really beautiful tropical looking dress. Ooh, yes. We gotta finish the vibes. Let's let's finish up the vibes with some. Ooh. Oh, so cute. Yep, this is it. See, I was really unsure about this dress. I've had it for years. Actually, maybe not years. Definitely over a year. It just like was never really my style. I could never figure out when I was gonna wear this. But I feel like vacation for like a cute vacay pic. Just to like serve in the house barefoot, you know? By the pool, on the beach. I love it. Okay, I think we have like one more outfit. At this point, I'm taking my whole closet. <laughs> it's so funny though, like all of these are new pieces. I went from like not knowing anything to wear to now I have like a whole wardrobe. I love it, I'm so happy. This is like my color of the year for sure. We have this beautiful green set, so I'm gonna change into it. Okay, last and final look. One of my favorites, 
like I mentioned, this is my color of the season and we're just doing like a full green. Green shoes and everything. I mean, I could wear the Chloe's with this, but I kind of just love the all green moment. And this is the same set of the blue one. Actually, I think I just wore the blue top, but this is, yeah, I really like this together. Oh, and this purse. I may have to take five purses. I don't know if that's excessive, but listen, okay, when you're trying to serve looks, you gotta do what you gotta do. I love it! Woo! Okay. Yeah. I'm excited about this. All of these, all of these are straight fire. This is gonna be, oh my god. Can't wait, I can't wait. Okay, I'm gonna try on some swimsuits for you guys because for a couple of the days, I feel like we'll mainly be wearing swimsuits anyways, at least for like one of the days. We're going on like a whole like beach cruise type thing like for seven hours. So, oh, that reminds me, I need to get some dramamine too because I get seasick. <laughs> Okay, let's do that. So I got all my swimsuits from Lyra. Ooh, this is cute. So we can either do the green or we can do like a more tropical moment with this. I don't know which one I like more. I feel like they're both really pretty. We'll try them both on. All right, we have swimwear out option number one, which I think I'm gonna wear this one on the day that we have the little like cruise around Puerto Vallarta. Puerto, I don't know how to pronounce that. Puerto Vallarta. Puerto Vallarta. I can't say it. Anyways, the leggings that actually came with this Lyra top, um, I didn't really like. They're just like a plain gray legging. I feel like it doesn't really match the vibe. But I actually have these leggings from Mott 50 that I wore last year with a separate set. And I feel like they match like perfectly. And they look like a lot cuter with the whole outfit. So also have my YSL beach bag, beach tote, and I feel like it is so cute. I actually really like this. This is a very cute outfit, so. Catch me on a yacht in this fit. <laughs> I'll try on the second bathing suit for you guys as well. And final outfit is this over here. I feel like this will be really cute to wear to the beach. It's really thin, it's also by Lyra, and I really like it. It has like a little attached skirt. Super, super cute. I have my Happy Looks Good On You bag, but I will probably also carry the YSL one too. This one's just easier because I don't have to worry about like people stealing this and stuff, but when people see Save On they're gonna want it. But I have this cute little visor from Amazon. I love this. It has like a hole on the top, so if you have a big head, it works perfectly. Cute. Perfect. And then I'm gonna be taking just like some random little cover ups and stuff. I don't think I really need to show that in the video, but like this one, for example, we are renting like a huge house in Mexico and it's gonna be like private, private pool and everything. So the girls can actually wear their swimsuits and not just have like the modest ones. So I think I'm gonna just take this to kind of like lounge around the pool when I'm not actually in the water and I don't wanna just like be naked. <laughs> but this will be really cute. I forget what this is from. It's from Luisa Paris and um, definitely wouldn't like wear this out. It's not my vibe, but it'll be really cute for around the house. So yeah, that is everything. I'm gonna check back in with you guys tomorrow when I start packing everything everything and I'll show you how I managed to fit. How many outfits do we have? <laughs> oh, 12. 13. And then this one, damn. For five days, five days, <laughs> five days 13 fits. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's good though. Cause two of them are swimsuits. Yes. I'm gonna have to also, wear clothes. you're staying safe and exactly. like having backups. Exactly. Just in case Backups you spill something on her. Which I do a lot. <laughs> <laughs> which I or I sweat out of it, which will probably happen yeah, too. Exactly. Yay! I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Risky. We killed it. Okay. So I'm getting started on packing and I just wanted to show you guys what I love to use. So these packing cubes seriously are a game changer, um, especially when you're going on vacation for a while and you're like trying to compress everything. So I believe I got a pack of these on Amazon, um, but I just have some random ones. Like this is like from a YouTube trip or something. I have to find the rest of them, but I'll even sometimes use little bags like this, like dust bags or shoe bags or whatever it is, just anything that can allow you to compress. So I'm just gonna give you guys an example is this. This is all my swimsuits in here so I have the modest ones here and then since it's a girls trip I also do have some one pieces so this is a beautiful one piece from J. Crew, and then this one is a stunning one piece from Farm Rio and I actually have a matching bucket hat to go with it so I thought I'd just share that with you guys since obviously you won't see it on me um, in the vlogs but it's just so so gorgeous so I'm just gonna take four so I, I'm gonna take two modest ones one to wear at the beach one to wear like on the excursion date 
and then these will just be for the house. I like to bring multiple so I don't have to like wait for the other one to dry and when I want to wear it again. That is my little suit, uh, what's it called? Swimsuit pack. It also makes it a lot easier for when you actually get to your destination. You kind of know that each pack is like for one specific thing. So this is all my swimsuits. I usually have one for like my socks and underwear and bras. This one will probably house all of my like outfits that I'm taking and so on and so forth. Hijabs, all of that. So you can have like a com uh, compartment for each one. So I'm gonna go ahead and like put everything in the compartments and then I'll show you guys what it looks like in my suitcase. Officially the day before my trip to Mexico and I finished packing, so let me show you basically what I did. I definitely overpacked, but I'd rather be overpacked than underpacked. If you know, you know. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, it is a five-day trip, but I do plan on shooting some content while I'm out there, um, like vacation content, so hence the two, the two suitcases. But this is also really tiny. Anyways, let me stop justifying it. So this is the away suitcase, by the way. On this side, I like to put all my clothes because um, you use this like top layer to compress everything. I mean, granted, mine is is like completely shattered to pieces so it doesn't really compress it that well but in this little mesh area I keep all of my period stuff because unfortunately I think I am gonna get my period while well, well, the trip <laughs> but anyways that's not that important here I have all of my clothes so in this uh, pouch I think I showed you guys while I was packing this this honestly held majority of the outfits that I'm taking um, with the exception of a few and I'll show that later it's actually not in this suitcase but I have my underwear and and, um, a couple socks in here. I'm gonna be wearing sandals most of the time. In here, I believe I have like bodysuits and like shapewear, um, stuff like that. And everything, as you can see, is like compartmentalized like really, really nicely. I have a ton of sunscreen in here for my Canadian girls and bringing them some super goop so that everyone is protected in the sun. And then in this pouch, I believe this is all of my swimwear, which I showed you as well. So yeah, all of my swimwear and then swim turbans as well. And then all of my hijabs are in this one and all of the like hijab accessories, magnets, all of that. So this is like super organized and I know everything that's in here. I can just like go into my room and like take things out and put them in the closet and do whatever I need to do. So that's that on this side. This is where I like to keep clothes and just like bulkier items because it's just slightly deeper. Like you don't have the boning from the, um, the suitcase holder. I don't know the thing that like pops out if you guys know what I mean. But anyways, I have my huge hat over here. But Underneath I have a bunch of things so I have all of my shoes in here and my bags and stuff like that and then over here I was able to pack my makeup and skincare in this like let me just show you guys oh god I actually just got this package from philosophy today and they gave me this like personalized um, little toiletry bag so I have all of my makeup and skincare in here it's very heavy um, and also my brushes so everything that I need in terms of beauty is in here which is really nice um, I'm gonna put that back a tip for storing large hats like this is to actually place it upside down and then stuff things over here so that, you know, it still keeps its shape and it doesn't get flattened and I've never had any issues and then I just kind of like tuck the sides like you just saw. And then by the time you wear it, it basically, it doesn't get like, you know, weirdly formed. And then I also managed to bring a steamer. I actually got this steamer on Amazon. I saw my friend Lena talking about it and I ordered it as well. And it's just a little handheld one and actually I believe you you can like there we go I don't know why I didn't store it like this before but it just you know it's a handheld little steamer and majority of my clothes I like to steam so and also my hijab so it's just really convenient to have something like this and it tucks away perfectly under all of the hats kind of hard to do this with one hand okay and that is in suitcase number one there is still a lot of space in here but I don't like to overstuff it because then you definitely go over like the 50 pound weight limit. So yeah, moving on to here, I have, let me show you. So on the compressed side, I actually, so this was initially in this suitcase, but I decided to put it here. And what this has is like bras. It has a pair of underwear. It has like probably like two outfits that I can wear interchangeably just in case anything were to happen to my suitcase. I have, you know, 
some clothes to get me through a couple days. Um, and then I just have this heavier bag just to save some um, weight on this guy. And then I have just my Gucci purse. A tip is to always keep your like designer items in your carry-on and not your luggage because honestly you never really know when your luggage is going to get lost or if people will tamper with it or anything. It's just better to be safe than sorry honestly. So yeah I have all of like my designer things in here um, and like my shoes and stuff. So on this side um, I have those Chloe shoes that you guys saw and then I also have the YSL bag here and then just a couple random accessories. There's honestly not that much in here. It's just kind of like little things that I remember and was like oh I want to take that. I just kind of stuff in the smaller one. Another tip that I have for this while we're on the topic of missing suitcases. I mean inshallah that doesn't happen to me but I've actually been seeing a lot about like air tags and I went to the Apple store today with the intention of buying an air tag so I could throw it in the suitcase but they closed literally like five minutes prior and they wouldn't let me in so what I decided instead and like hopefully this works I mean it's not confirmed yet but I have an Apple watch and what I did was I just made sure it was fully charged and then I threw it in here so hopefully by the time I land in Mexico it'll still be fully charged or at least halfway charged and then I can still track wherever this is using like find my iPhone. So I don't know if that's 100% gonna work. If it does, I will update you guys. That's just, I guess, another way because obviously you can like track all of your iPhones and Apple gadgets. So yeah, that is basically what I'm bringing to Mexico. And I'm so excited for this trip, you guys. I also do have a carry-on bag, which is just this guy over here. Honestly, there's not much in it. I'm usually one to like not have a carry-on luggage. I'll just have like a bag and like stuff it. But this time I didn't stuff it as much. So it's pretty empty. I'm just gonna have like my laptop, some hand lotion, my passport, just like basic things, um, my money and all of that. And yeah, ooh, I actually did wanna show you one cool thing though because this is definitely a very travel safe item to bring or travel savvy. I know it looks questionable, but just hear me out. This is actually a tripod. Like this is a full tripod. It stands really tall. It has a little built in, what's it called? Bluetooth like photo taker. Yeah, Bluetooth like photo taker and it's really cool. So you just like push the bottom of this guy and then it comes undone. So I mean, I'm sure I'll show it in my vlog, but it's just really convenient. It's pretty light and it's better than like taking around this clunky thing, which is like my other suitcase or my other tripod that I usually use. So I will link this down below on Amazon because I feel like it's really cute and sleek and it's like perfect for travel. I think you can also use it as a selfie stick, but basically these at the bottom turn into the legs and then over here there's like an extending top to it so I'm excited to have that obviously it will be very easy to shoot my TikToks and reels and just content in general group photos all of that so yeah I think that's all um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely let me know if you did enjoy it and maybe this can be like a series like trying on outfits and sharing what I'm taking on vacation one thing that I will say I did end up leaving a couple items out that I did try on and was really excited about I was just kind of thinking about it I'm like, I really don't need multiples of like very similar items. So this is what I ended up not packing. So I'm not going to take this dress because I ended up going to, oh my God, I need to clean before I leave. But anyways, I ended up going to a Farm Rio um, showroom and I got some dresses from there. So I'm, I'm going to leave this. I mean, I was kind of on the fence about it anyways. And then this skirt, which I absolutely love. I love this skirt so much. I kind of just decided it is a little bit snug on me, even though it looks really good. I'd rather just bring pieces that I'm like super comfortable in and that like fit me. Um, so I'm gonna just wear this when I'm back in LA. I also decided to leave these white linen pants, which I absolutely love. They're double lined from J. Crew or what are they called? They're they're not from J. Crew. They're from um, Ann Taylor loft I believe um, but I decided to leave them because these are also a little bit snug and I also am already bringing like a cream colored linen pants so I don't really need two um, I also ended up leaving the blue skirt because I have a million other skirts I also got one from Farm Rio and I already wore the blue sets together on my Instagram so I don't really need to bring it to Mexico so yeah those are the pieces that I'm not taking I think that's it everything else I pretty much took and yeah, I'm gonna be wearing these shoes to the airport tomorrow. So I'm just gonna put them off to the side over here. But yeah, I am exhausted. So I gotta wake up super early and I can't wait for my trip. The next video you guys see after this will be the Mexico vlog. So definitely be sure you're subscribed and you keep up. But yeah, I'm so excited for vacation. I'll see you guys in Mexico. Bye. Mwah.